Today I'm going to demonstrate how to search Active Directory using LDAP search filters. The exercise will be done entirely in Active Directory users and computers. And the only location where I have that program installed is on my testing domain controller, which is a server 2008 R2 virtual machine. I'm going to expand my domain. I have an OU here named Rightstar Employees. I'll expand that OU and I have four OUs under here named by location. If I click in California, I'll see the Rightstar Employees that reside in California. Same with Texas, DC. If I was tasked with importing these users from Active Directory and into Salesforce, I'll need to specify specifically which users I want. The last thing I want is to have too many users that were in Active Directory imported into Salesforce. There's, there might be duplicate users in Salesforce. There might be domain users, service accounts, inactive users, maybe uh, accounts created just for a particular room. We need to make sure that we filter these out and LDAP search filters are how we can do that. I'm going to click on Saved Queries, right-click it, and select New Query. Let's give it a name, a meaningful name. Salesforce Users. Then I'm going to click Define Query. And then under Find, I'm going to change this from Common Queries to Custom Search. Then click Advanced. And I can now enter an LDAP query using LDAP search filters. The first one I'll add is object category equals user. This will just bring me back user objects. And instantly I have results. But what you can see very quickly is I have built-in accounts like administrator, guest. We don't want these users from Active Directory imported into Salesforce. These users would never log in. We don't want these people occupying a license within Salesforce. So we need to filter those out. I know from setting up this domain that these particular users don't have an email address. So let's add that filter. I'm going to right click on the query that I've previously created, edit it, define query advanced, just essentially going back again, adding one more filter. Mail equals star. That means only show me users that have an email address. I've modified the query, but to see the new results, I have to hit refresh. And like that, we've taken out those built-in accounts that we didn't need. Perfect. But I still have this duplicate here, now really showing. I have this admin account, or maybe a domain account, that will be a duplicate user. I want to get rid of that as well. So I can add another filter. And this time, I'm going to add not. So we're going to do a reverse of a, of a condition. So I'm going to show only users that do not have the admin account label in their description. Not is an exclamation point. And I'll highlight and show what we did. Description equals account. That will pull up all the user, the users with an email address that have a description of admin account. But I have enclosed that with the not operator, so that will reverse that. So now it will say, show me all the users that have an email address that do not have a description of admin account. Need to refresh again. Brilliant. We've now 
filtered that out. And we've also filtered out users that don't have an email address. It only is bringing back users. And this is how you can specify your query, especially for something like Salesforce, any sort of automated import where you can specify specifically which user objects you want to import into something like Salesforce. Again, you'll want to filter out your disabled users, your service accounts, your domain admin accounts. Those you won't want to bring in. You'll just want to import the people that will actually occupy a license and be logging in to Salesforce.